What's going on world? I go by the name of CA Revolution. This is another episode of React. Before I even get into this amazing video, it's going to change your perspective. Listen to what I'm saying. Just hit the like button, share, subscribe, start getting ready to comment because we're going to rock and roll straight into this thing. I usually don't like to use cliche titles, but I have to because this is the best description of the title that I could come up with. I didn't even feel the need to be clever. It's called No Pain, No Gain. We've heard this cliche before. Today, I wanna challenge you to view yourself growing in a rebirth state. So the growth that you go through creates or recreates, but let's go with creates, it births a brand new person or idea or whatever your growing thing is. I want you to think about what happens when a woman has a child. Now, no, I'm not a woman. Thank you for every woman who has ever even attempted to have a child. God bless you. Thank you so much. Just really thank you for doing what I can never in my life do. Thank you so much. With that being said, I want you to think about um, what a woman goes through through the birthing process of a child. Now, I have been in a room when uh, a woman had a baby, so I've seen it, and it's nothing like what i seen on TV. It's nothing like what the, the, the after product is because a lot of people see the, the birth of the baby and the baby is coddled um, or it's like in the, the blanket and you know what I mean? It's cute, it's got the pink or the, 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 the blue hat thing going. So, you know, that's not how that happens. That is not how it happens when a baby is being birthed. Um, it's messy, it's nasty, it's bloody, it's um, slimy, it's the, the, the baby that comes out, it's, it's crying or it's um it, it's it's got so many aspects to it and even even just through the early stages of it the baby is keeping you up late at night the baby is waking you up early in the morning you got to keep changing the baby because the baby has crap and all of that stuff in it it's leaking it's fragile it's delicate it's all of these different things this baby is all those different things and that's exactly how it is with your growth your growth process is as delicate as the baby it's as messy as the baby it's as needy as the baby and if you don't treat your growth process the way a child is an infant is being handled then you can very much so damage that growth process for the rest of your life Let's talk about this. Listen, even when the baby is born, even when the growth is born, there's a part of it that's still attached to the person who birthed it. Mm, I hope you understand what I'm saying right now. There's a part of you that's growing, that's still attached to the old version of you that's trying not to grow, that's, try, that, that's refusing to let you go. But if the umbilical cord in this case, metaphorically speaking, if the umbilical cord is never cut and there's not a disconnect between who you are, who, who you have grown and recreated or created yourself to be versus who you are trying to stay attached to in your past, we're talking possible death here. Listen to what I'm saying because there's a version of you right now that just birthed your growth. You're so protective about your your new growth. You're so you're so hands on with it. It's it's not sacrificial to you. We need to get to a point in our journey where just like a baby is protected and provided for and to some degree to a large degree when you birth something, you will give your own life to make sure this this child, this baby, is able to grow and able to live its own life. I have a question for a second. How serious are you about your growth? Is your growth really as fragile as you make it seem? Is it really important? Are you really feeding it the way you need to in order for your growth to grow up? Is your growth stagnant? Is your growth, um, is, it, is it convenient? No pain, no gain means if I don't grow through this, if I don't grow up, if I don't expand, then I can't go anywhere. I can't gain, I can't benefit. Listen, so many of us are leaving the current version of us in autopilot, we're in cruise control. You're not doing anything but going up and down the same highway with no real destination or, or perhaps only with the destination and not with the intent of going through a journey. I wanna say this to you, standing still 
does not make the pain go away. Standing still mentally, standing still in the trauma that has you locked up and afraid, standing still doesn't mean the pain go away. Standing still emotionally doesn't make the pain go away. It doesn't make the memories go away. It doesn't make the heartbreak go away. It doesn't make the anger go away or the sadness go away. It doesn't make the joy or the excitement go away. You have to go and grow through this. No pain, no gain. I want to say this because pain is also a part of your healing process. Yes, pain is a part of your healing process. I was in the gym and I'm working out with a guy. So shout out to Conrado. I'm working out with him and we had the same weight on this particular day. We're working out our shoulders. We had the same weight and what's going on is I get on there and I'm struggling Ugh, I'm trying to push my weight up. I'm struggling with it. I'm trying to push my 15 up and man, it, it, it looked nasty. It looked like I was struggling. Then Conrado goes behind, throw his up. Boom, 15, made it look easy. Second set, I'm struggling some more. Second set, he throw his up, make it look easy. Third set, I'm struggling some more. Third set, he struggles at the end of it. We hang it up. I said, man, you should have added more weight. He said, why? I said, wait, was that heavy for you? He said, yeah, that was heavy for me. And I thought to myself, it's amazing how we're both here to help each other work out. But what I was going through looked a lot worse than what you were going through. And so this is a message. This part is a message for the people who make it look easy. They go through life. They make pain look easy. They make it look like everything is good. They go through. They're constantly smiling. They always have words of encouragement, always willing to give themselves to help someone else out. But guess what? Help is still needed for people like that. Me, meanwhile, I'm struggling. I got my form looks messed up. Might have needed a spotter a couple times. And he just simply encouraged me. Come on, push through it, push through it. And I was able to get through it. But if you looked at me from the outside looking in and you looked at him from the outside looking in, we're going through the same pain. No pain, no gain for both of us. But we make the struggle look different. And for a lot of us, we make the struggle look different. We make it look easy, but we're still going through things. I want to encourage you to understand that just because you're gaining through your pain, it doesn't mean you have to do it alone. You can ask for help. And that's a part of the gain. No pain, no gain doesn't mean you have to be prideful. No pain, no gain doesn't mean you have to lie and make it seem like what you're going through is nothing. No pain, no gain means that you are willing to separate the stagnant part of you to birth something, to birth a vision, a relationship, a business, um, um, healing, good health, discipline, self-control, whatever it is. You're willing to grow through the birthing process to push out this person or, or, or this or, or this being that is so important to you that you're willing to cut the umbilical cord and, or the thing that attaches you to what you separated from. You're willing to cut the cord for the betterment of your growth. I know you can grow through this. I know you can suffer through the pain to get to the gain. I know you can do it. I'm encouraging you to continue going through your pain. It's going to be well worth it. Your gain is going to be greater than your pain. But remember, without pain, there is no gain. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe, share, follow, um, and stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.